Hello, I'm Georgios Zamanakos from Electrical and Computer Engineering Department of Democritus University of Thrace. Today I'm going to present our paper, a comprehensive survey of LiDAR-based 3D object detection methods with deep learning for autonomous driving. Today I will start my presentation by explaining the working principle of a LiDAR sensor and the benefits and limitations of LiDAR-based 3D object detection. Following, the 3D bounding box encoding, which is used for detecting objects in 3D, will be presented. And next, the common operational pipeline of LiDAR-based 3D object detectors will be shown. An extra analysis will be given for each of the three operational modules. Afterwards, the publicly available datasets for autonomous driving used for the evaluation of LiDAR-based 3D object detectors will be discussed. The key insights, benefits and limitations of each category of detectors will be briefly presented. Next, the future research trends and open problems in this field will be shown. And finally, this presentation will be concluded with a summary of our work. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. A LiDAR sensor measures the time of flight of an emitted laser pulse. Given the measured distance and the horizontal and vertical angles of the laser emitter, a set of 3D points named as point cloud is computed by the sensor. But why should we use a LiDAR sensor for 3D object detection? Well, first of all, it provides precise, high spatial dimension information and captures the absolute scale of objects. Furthermore, LiDAR sensor is not restricted by lighting conditions and captures data in a privacy-free manner. However, due to its form, the LiDAR point cloud is unstructured, sparse, and of low context information. Additionally, the refraction of the laser pulse due to adverse weather conditions introduces noise to the captured data. The 3D bounding box encoding is used to describe the location, size, and orientation of an object in 3D space. The 3D bounding box should have proper dimensions to encapsulate tightly the detected object. Along with the other information, a class probability score is used to determine the class of the detected object. Despite the differences in their architectures, all LiDAR-based 3D object detectors share a common operational pipeline comprised of three main modules. At first, the LiDAR sensor data are converted to a proper structured representation. Then, depending on the selected sensor data representation, proper deep learning architectures are used for feature extraction. Once the features are extracted, the core object detection module is used to detect the objects. Properly designed detector networks process the extracted features to compute the corresponding 3D bounding boxes. For one-stage detectors, this is the final stage of their architecture. On the other hand, two-stage detectors comprise of an extra stage of refining the predicted 3D bounding box. Starting with the LiDAR sensor data representation, there exist different ones such as point-based, voxel-based, pillar-based, graph-based, projection-based in a front-view range image, and projection-based in bird's-eye view or BEV. The feature extraction takes place either in 3D or 2D space. In 3D space, encoder or encoder-decoder architectures of 3D convolution neural networks are used. Both of them result in a bird's-eye view high-dimensional feature map. Alternatively, encoder or encoder-decoder PointNet++ architectures are used for point-wise feature extraction and foreground segmentation tasks. In 2D space, fully convolutional neural architectures are used, which are comprised of 2D CNNs. Their structure follows a feature pyramid network pattern with variations mainly observed in the number of input and output feature maps. The most common architectures use a single input, single output, or multiple input, multiple output designs. 
In the core object detection module, the extracted features are processed through the detector networks to predict the 3D bounding boxes. The detector networks are divided into two categories, anchor-based and anchor-free. The anchor-based use a per-object class fixed-size 3D bounding box, which is used as an anchor. The anchor-free networks do not use fixed-size anchors and tend to leverage semantic information such as foreground points, object parts, or center points. Both categories may operate either in 3D or 2D space. Fully connected layers or point net architectures are used for predicting a 3D bounding box in 3D space. Alternatively, 2D and 1D CNNs are used for predicting a 3D bounding box in 2D space. Overall, anchor-based networks demonstrate a better performance. However, there is a trend towards anchor-free networks for computational efficiency as the number of object classes increases. The prediction refinement stage is used by two-stage detectors to refine the predicted 3D bounding box from the detector network. Depending on the selected LiDAR sensor data representation, a proper architecture is followed. This second LiDAR sensor data representation does not have to be the same as in the beginning. Out of the publicly available datasets, three of them, namely Kitty, NewSynce and Waymo, provide a test set benchmark and are used by the community for the evaluation of LiDAR-based 3D object detectors. Each of the three datasets has certain rules concerning the object classes, difficulty levels, evaluation metrics and inference time. Out of the three, Kit is the oldest one and has the most detectors tested on it. It contains three object classes to be detected, car, pedestrian and cyclist, and separates them into easy, medium and hard difficulty levels according to their corresponding pixel size in the image. Following, New Scenes is a recent dataset and contains 10 object classes to be detected. Certain object classes represent static objects such as pole, traffic cone and barrier, while others belong to classes that look like each other such as car, bus and construction vehicles. Similarly to Kitty, Waymo has three classes to be detected However, the LiDAR point cloud is much, it's much more dense when compared to Kitty and NewSynce. Given the reported performance in the three publicly available datasets, the 47 survey detectors are firstly categorized according to their input LiDAR sensor data representation and then presented with respect to the common operational pipeline as well as their individual particularities. Useful insights, pros and cons will be briefly described for each category. Voxel-based detectors are the most popular in the community due to their balance between performance and computation cost. In their majority, they utilize a 3D backbone with sparse CDNs for feature extraction in 3D, followed by a 2D backbone with 2D CNNs in bird's eye view for further feature extraction and object detection. Usually, they are designed as one-stage detectors. Pillar-based detectors discard the 3D backbone for computational efficiency and instead use a point-net-based architecture for encoding 3D information during the pillar feature extraction process. Then, a bird's-eye view high-dimensional feature map is constructed and the 2D backbone with 2D CNNs is used for further feature extraction and object detection. Pillar-based detectors use a one-stage approach for a reduced inference time and their performance is comparable to voxel-based. Detectors that utilize the projection in BEV became less popular in the community and appear to have been replaced by pillar-based detectors. They rely upon existing architectures of 2D object detectors and demonstrate an inferior performance compared to other 3D object detectors. Detectors that utilize a projection in a front view range image 
use this representation to extract semantic features, and they usually switch to bird's eye view for object detection. Overall, they demonstrate a balance between performance and computation cost. Point-based detectors usually comprise of two stages, alongside with certain computationally expensive operations of PointNet++ architecture, they result in an increased computation cost, while achieving an average performance. They operate solely in 3D space and do not use 2D architectures. Only one graph-based detector exists, it presents a promising architecture and achieves decent performance. However, it is quite computationally expensive. Dual representation detectors use two representations for extracting more robust and discriminative features. Depending on the selected representations, their architectures follow the proper design. There exist two approaches in this category, detectors that focus on learning multi-view features and detectors that focus on learning multi-scale features. The latter approach of learning multi-scale features demonstrates state-of-the-art performance. Uh, overall, however, dual representation detectors demonstrate an increased performance with a balanced computational cost. Regardless of their architectures, LiDAR-based 3D object detectors that are jointly trained for other tasks, such as instance segmentation, foreground segmentation, prediction of object parts or part locations demonstrate an increased detection performance. Furthermore, an increased detection performance is achieved through local or global attention modules which are used for a more discriminative feature extraction. Despite the progress made in LiDAR-based 3D object detection, there exist certain future research trends and open problems. The application in embedded systems and computing on edge devices is of great importance for mobile robots and autonomous vehicles. Towards reducing the inference time, hybrid networks could be used to replace certain computationally expensive operations with more efficient ones. Object completion and shape generation techniques could be used to mitigate the inherent sparsity of the LiDAR point cloud. Additionally, Self-supervised learning is an emerging field which LiDAR-based 3D object detection could benefit from. Finally, the available datasets, lack of complex and realistic scenarios, which could be used to evaluate the detectors in more demanding cases. In this paper, we have focused on LiDAR-based 3D object detection with deep learning and we have identified and analyzed the common operational pipeline of LiDAR-based 3D object detectors. An extensive survey of 47 detectors is conducted, and each of them is presented individually with respect to the operational pipeline and also the particularities of each detector. We have evaluated the detectors according to their reported performances for three datasets, and we have extracted insightful findings and key elements for future work. Thank you for your attention and now I will gladly answer to any questions you might have.